So our next step is to actually save the post into our database. So let's go ahead and take care of that. What I'll do is first of all take care of the featured image and then we're just going to create a new post and store all of this information in the database. So let's do that right now. First of all, I'll get the featured image from the request. So I'll say request feature and this would give me the image. The next step is actually to give a new name to this image. Okay. So for example, maybe we uploaded and it's called windows, for example, and uh, we don't need or we don't want the name to be windows because we don't trust the user and he can actually upload a new file with the same name into application. So we don't want a conflict. So what we're going to do is say featured new name is going to be equals to, and we'll get the time, the instance, the, the time at that moment. And we're going to say concatenate this to featured, which is the image that we just got from the request and would we'll get the client original name. And if you're used to symphony, this is a symphony function and it's just a function that is going to give us the name of this file. Okay. So the next step is to actually move this file into our application. So we're going to be storing it somewhere. Okay. So we've not yet reviewed Lavo storage right here, but we're going to be doing that in later projects. But for now, we're just going to put it in our public directory as an asset. Okay. So I'll create a new directory and I'll call this uploads. And right here, we're going to have another directory just for post. Okay. So in this directory, this is where we're going to be uploading a file to. So we just need to move that file. So we'll say featured move. Remember we are moving this file and the first parameter that this move method takes is the directory to which we're uploading. So uploads slash post. Okay. Just like we created right here. So uploads and post. So we'll put it into that directory and the next parameter we need to pass in is the name of the file. Okay. So we'll say save it as featured new name right here. Okay. So now that that's done, remember the name of the file now is the time concatenated to the original name. So it's always going to be identical. So after moving that we need to now save the next part of our post. So we just took care of the image. Let's take care of the title, the contents and the category. So we need to create a new post. So we'll say post is equals to new post. Okay. This is the method we know, but I'm going to show you another way to do it, which is obviously faster. Okay. So we'll call the post and we're going to call a create method on this post. And this create method takes in an array and this create method was also used in our registers controller. If you see, so write down in our registers controller, this create method was used and it's faster, obviously. Okay. So let's do that. So first thing we have to say create title and this indexes right here, match up our database. Okay. So we have a title field and we use title right there. And the title is going to be equal to the request title that we have. So request title and the next field that we have is the content and the content is going to be the request content. Okay. And the next we have is the featured and the featured is going to be the name of the file. So we're going to be storing the name of the file in our database. And when we want to display the image, we'll just use the name. So I'm not just going to be storing the name. I'm going to be storing the path also. So it's an upload post, and then I'm going to concatenate the featured new name right there. Okay. And the last part is the category ID. And obviously we already have this field in our request. So we'll say request category ID right there. Okay. So that's it. We are creating a new post and the title is going to be the title we get from the request. The content is going to be the content. The featured is going to be the concatenated path to the image and the featured new name that we gave to the image. Okay. And the category is going to be the category ID that we selected from our field. Okay. So next step, we need to set a session and flash a success message. So it says success. And this is going to say post created successfully. Okay. So that's it. So we have 
everything set up and this is obviously gonna this is gonna fail and it's gonna be our next lesson so let's try that out so I'll refresh I'll set in a title and I'll put in an image and I'll select WordPress and I'll put in that data and I'll click store and we have okay so obviously this is my fault that's not the error I was talking about so we need to import the use app post class if we're gonna use the post model okay but remember that before we actually leave reach the line where we have to to create a post we've already saved a file so let's check if our file is actually there and you see right there we have a file okay and that's the file we uploaded so looks like our upload is working perfectly so we are getting the file we give it a new name we move it and then we need to store that path into our database so let's try that out and see what i was talking about so I'll continue and you see mass assignment abstraction for title so what's mass assignment let's talk about that in the next video <music>